Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you how to run the Megapithecus Alpha in insanely easy using this little trick. Um, it's actually super easy to do. You literally just need a Procoptodon and then it's usually good to have two or three tribe mates with you as well. Um, but yeah, basically that's all you need. It's it's basically just, and I'll tell you what it is. So you just need a good kit of armor, a Procoptodon, doesn't even need to be a good saddle, a good shotgun, and I don't know, quite a few rounds, depending on how many people there are. We only have four, so I've got about a thousand rounds. We won't need that much, nearly. Um, but that's literally all you're going to need access to. So, yeah, pretty pretty simple. Um, and uh, shouldn't be too bad, even if you have something like this happen, where a <laughs> where an alpha raptor just shows up and decides that they're going to uh, ruin your party. But yeah, so that's literally all you're going to need access to. Um, you just have to wait for the drop to get down. And uh, that's, that's, that's it. So... If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. Um, I'm getting close to 100k, and that's been my dream all along. So you can see this right here. All right, and here we are. I just need to make sure I get this off of it. And then I don't think there's anything good in this drop, but yep, once you have everything you need to go, we're going to go ahead and go into the alpha portal. And that's it. That's all we got to do. And so the one thing you want to be careful of is you want to make sure that you uh, hop off your Procoptodon because if you are on the Procoptodon when you start this, it could definitely cause problems for you. Um, and by that, I mean this is this is something you want to be very cautious with, um, just so you're aware. Now, another thing just to uh, keep track of, when you are running this boss fight, um, be very careful with the actual temperature in there. So do not wear flak. Flak will get you killed pretty quickly because of the temperature on the inside of this. Hop on your Procoptodon, and then our goal is to get up on top of this specific ledge right here. That's our goal. Um, if they can get up on top of that ledge, that's that's kind of what we're aiming for. Um, it can be very difficult to get up on top of uh, up front, um, but basically the strategy is to go right where I just did right here. And then once you get up on that, you're pretty much good to go because you can kind of just jump over the side. Um, and then, oh boy, we just hit each other there. Nice. And yep, he knocked me off, but oh well. Um, so the big thing is you basically just have to get up there. That's it. That's it. And then we're going to go ahead and pull his attention over here. I'll see if I can get him away from my tribe mates. Come on. There we go. Uh, come on. There he goes. There he goes. Follow me, big feller. All right. So hopefully they can figure out how to uh, get up on top of that ledge. But again, they're just trying to get up there. And once they do, they are perfectly safe. And uh, yeah, you can pretty, I mean, with a kangaroo, you can outrun literally everything in this entire fight, which is obviously super useful. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and, oh no, I just dropped. I was up there and I dropped like an idiot. Oopsies. But again, with the speed of kangaroos, you don't really have much to concern yourself with. Um, and yeah, it's it's a little more difficult on servers because obviously, as you can see that I'm sitting right here. Um, oh, there we go. That is perfect. Yes, please. Oh no, dropped off the backside, but oh well. Um, we're on this side, so that's not a big deal because we're safe over here. Um, we can, again, if we want to escape this, we just go over to that side. Um, but we want to pull him over towards us, so it's not a, a big issue. But you can see that I'm kind of just going to get up on top of this ledge. And then as long as we have this, he can't even figure out where you are. So you can just rain shotgun shots on him. And that's kind of the point of this whole thing is you don't want to take any damage, but you can kill him. And you can see he's like, oh, I'm angry at you, but there's nothing that he can do. Yep. And as long as someone's shooting him, you're pretty good. Uh, looks like my tribe mates over there are good. I'm going to go ahead and not risk dying. Why Why am I, like, stuck on this little tiny... Com <gasps> Whoa. That was almost funny. Ooh, sorry, I didn't want to hit you there, bud. Um, that's pretty good. Ooh. And if he hits you with that rock, by the way, you insta-die. So just be careful of that, obviously. But... Um, as you can see, my tribe mates and I are just sitting up on this ledge. And once all, in the hardest part of this boss fight, honestly, is getting all four of you up on top of this ledge. But once you're on top of this ledge, you're completely safe and you literally have nothing to worry about. And then you just shoot them. That's all you have to do. And uh, yeah, so I'm not going to speed this up so you can see that it's uh, completely normal. You might want to zoom in when he gets a little further away because that makes it a little easier to take him out. Ooh, is he going to hit me with that one? Oh, you can't. Okay, cool. I've never actually seen him hit someone up here, but it's possible technically because it's all based on line of sight. So if he gets a good throw at you, um, he will hit you with that. 
So, man, that's a big fella right here. He's about half health. And uh, you can see that I'm just sitting up on this ledge and that's all you gotta do. It's it's that easy. Uh, did someone just like jump down? I don't know what he's doing. But you can see that he's got your attention too. It's a little bit glitchy and I agree with you. It's not exactly the most amazing thing in the world, um, but it's a very easy thing to do. So that's why Procoptodons are so valuable. You'll hear people ask for Procoptodons before literally any other creature. I would trade, I mean, especially because Ark, the island is so hard to find Procoptodons. I would trade most of my base for a decent Procoptodon. And he's eventually going to go down. So the only other thing you want to be aware of is you need to be level 90 in order to actually do this boss fight. Um, so just keep that in mind, because if you're not level 90, your buddy will get left behind. I think it's 90. Um, so. And almost there. Okay, he's literally what 15 percent health left but you can see that i brought way too many shotgun shells but i always prefer bringing more because if you have a lower level shotgun or let's say one of your tribe mates makes a uh, oopsie and doesn't get up on the wall and gets killed which happened to me uh, literally right before running this one with my tribe mate he decided that he was going to jump away from the wall and his low level kangaroo got smoked so and you can see that i mean this is what five minutes not even there we go. Look at all that tech. We'll take that all freaking day, man. And uh, yeah, so that uh, Megapithecus supply crate spawns over at that side. Be careful because you can technically die if you jump off the cliff. So just make sure when you jump, you want to hit this, the middle of this area because the left side you can fall off of. So. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and go inside of this thing and you can see that he has element in Alpha Megapithecus Trophy, 220 element for doing Alpha, and that's a ton of element, obviously. So, uh, and it will automatically put it in this crate every single time because there were so many issues with the last um, last game and people actually ac uh, accessing all this stuff. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, and it looks like my tribe mates are still figuring out how to get out over there. Um, but as you can see, it's a very simple uh, strategy. And uh, it, the things that could go wrong, just so you kind of understand, is it's possible when you're inside of this boss arena to take too much damage from cold, bring some good um, foods that'll boost you with, through that, and then that, that'll help you out a ton. But if you're having issues, you just go to that back side, like the back side of the door, and jump up from the direction that I took originally, and you're pretty much guaranteed to hit that wall, and that's how you get up there every time safely. So. If you can't get him to the backside and he's stuck on the front, you can obviously move to the front. And if one of your tribe mates gets stuck, sometimes it helps for everyone to go back down, even though it sucks and it's kind of terrifying because it'll help bring everything back to like chaos mode instead of just aimed at one player. So it helps a ton. So hopefully this video helps you out. And again, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.